Hi, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. And we will look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. So let me square these away. We have the Ace of Swords. We had the Three of Pentacles. We had the Eight of Wands. So the Ace of Swords, this is a glorious illustration. You see the brilliance of the sword. You see the greenery. And we see the crown. And aces are gifts or blessings or messages from the universe. And really, it's the pipeline to you, which is... Here's the Ace of Swords. When we think about swords, we think about our intellect, we think about our reason, we think about our ability to strategize and to work through problems by using our smarts. Life experience, book experience, whatever it may be, pulling it all together and thinking your way through. So when we see the Ace of Swords, this Ace of Swords speaks to an opportunity for you to be inventive, to be innovative, to use and to focus on how you think. With ACEs, we may be thinking of change. We may be thinking of new beginnings, new opportunities. So here you could be, it's like the lightning bolt moment where this idea comes to you and you're like, hmm, that's quite interesting. I may pursue this. I may investigate a little further. And you take the, the energy of this lightning bolt and it, you apply it to your thinking, to your process, to your mental faculties, whatever it may be. So you have always have this, you know, uh, opportunity to change how you think, to expand your consciousness, to expand your enterprise, your business ideas, when you talk things through, when you write them down, when you flush these ideas out, using your mental process. So this card is paying attention to how you think. New ideas may be coming into you, new opportunities that you may see and that you may actually consider and contemplate and recognize and from that analyze. This Ace of Swords, it's powerful and it is a, an opportunity for you to make change with this power. And the Ace of Swords also brings forth this idea of truth and clarity. And how do we get to truth and clarity? We get to truth and clarity by understanding what's real, the facts, the evidence versus relying on hearsay or whatever it may be. So fact-driven, idea-generated here, ideas generated here. So with the Ace of Swords, here we have the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles, we see the people here working together. Here's the scroll, probably with some conditions, perhaps. Maybe it's a contract. Maybe it's something that they're negotiating. But... This person here is building a beautiful structure. This could be the client. It could be a customer. It could be someone who is providing money or providing expertise in their own way of what they want or what the project needs. So when we see the Three of Pentacles, it often relates to work. It also relates to group work, groups finding a way to, to create something. And there's give and take within that. There's negotiation, there's compromise. There is skill that each person brings a set of skills to the table. And so the tradesman here, or the artisan, the craftsman, um, may be listening and taking into accord what they want to do in order for him to help shape his work, his output. These people may be saying, hmm, we'd like to do this, but after listening to him, you know, maybe he's saying, really can't make that work. How about this? It's the 
It's the art of the deal. No pun intended. It's the, uh, you know, it's people working together to, to reach a common goal by sharing their abilities, their strengths, their talents. For some, it may be providing resources in order for this um, goal to be reached. So with this strike of an opportunity to use your thinking, with the Three of Pentacles, now we have the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is swift movement, and here are these, these wands are moving it out. You may feel that the pace is picking up. You may feel that you have a lot on your plate, that you're doing a lot. And maybe you are. Maybe the ideas are flowing. Maybe the work, you're, you're working together, you're working powerfully and constructively. And here's the Eight of Wands. It can be news. It can be a decision that you may have to make quickly in response to someone else. And it can relate to travel. For many of you having to travel, but there is this sense of projects in motion and lots of things in motion. And you know, in life, these projects are, it's a cycle. We, we start something and then we finish it. And then we just toss up a few more wands in the air as we begin new projects. It seems like it's a never ending, uh, never ending cycle of things to do. And so we see activity here. We see movement. We see swiftness. It also goes to communication. And again, clarity here. You may be getting news that impacts this project or impacts you in some fashion or that you may have to think about. Eight of Wands uh, could be a quick decision on, on, again, maybe someone says, hey, let's head out of town this weekend. I need to know so I can book the flight or book the train, whatever it may be. These things happen all the time where we have to respond quickly or we learn of something that we have to turn around quickly or, you know, news travels fast and you get some texts or messages or emails, whatever it may be from friends or family regarding an action, reg regarding a situation, you know, news can be coming through could be that you have to deal with it. You have to think about things. And it certainly could be news or projects relating to this three of pentacles, the group work. So numerology wise, we have one and three is four, four and eight is 12. 12 reduces to three and three is about group activities. It's about creativity and expression and communication. So we, you know, we see inherent within this spread, the idea and the theme of communication. And so now I'm going to choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day. Ask. Ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Our guides willing to help the universe pointing us in the right direction. We get clarity. Sometimes we get very clear on what we need and then we're in a position to ask for it. So if you need something, put the request out there, float the balloon, send it out there and your response will be heard. So my friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below, and I'll see you tomorrow for another reading. Take care.